Hi, Claire. We got your package. No, in all seriousness, let's uh, let's do the hot do the, haul. Do the do. Okay. First things first, we got American. Uh, what's it called? Carton. <laughs> cardboard. Cardboard. <laughs> American cardboard. And in here we've got. Oh my god. We've got some e okay. plus plastic. So we got some American plastic over here. Beautiful. <laughs> Did you actually take a bite out of it? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's let's get to it. This is all mine. That that's that's her. Oh. If these are melted, I'll bring more when I can. That's mine as well. Like what you Claire, you can't you can't do this to me. Cause I'll my like I'll eat them and then my I'll bust I'll bust my teeth again. Like I wow. can eat them for you. No. <laughs> no <laughs> Okay. So uh near Jewish Christopher Nolan. Yes, thank you. Uh, if the Reese's are melted, I'll bring more when I come. Thank you. I love you. Now to the grand package. Shall I read? Yes. USA as fuck. Hope you enjoy. Claire's with a heart. I purchased the food that that eptomize American culture. Uh, emphasize American culture and eating. Inside you'll find beef jerky. I don't eat it, but it's <laughs> but it's a staple. Agreed. Booba booba. Very American. Uh, very every every American child has had it. Twinkie mm -hmm. and snowballs. Hope you snowballs. Can I just? The journey of a lifetime begins with a single step. What? Claire. You... Too philosophical for us. Okay. Like I'm more. I'm the most excited about this. I'm. I'm not gonna try that. I'm sorry. I, I want to try. I'm, like, just, I'm not. I wanted to try beef jerky my entire life. I'm not gonna eat that. I'm gonna try. You can have it. I'm gonna try. Okay, so I've always dreamed about trying this. <laughs> Don't do that. Mmm. It's like alcohol. <laughs> okay, I've never tried that either. Like, what he said is like beer sausage. We, have you tried? Do you know what beer sausage is? I don't know if you have it. But I don't know either. It's, uh, it's a big thing in Sweden. I think also in the UK, right? I have no idea because I would not want to buy it anyway. Anywho, it's basically the, you have like this really long, thick sausage, usually here in Sweden at least, that you eat when consuming beer. And it reminds me a bit of that because beer sausage is kind of good. It's like salami. Oh. <laughs> uh. I'm the most excited for a Twinkie. Okay, let's do the Twinkie. Are those the. They have like cream in Yeah. There? I've, I've seen those in my have, movies. I've seen them in so many movies, and people adore them for some reason. Do they? And we. They look kind of disgusting. But exactly, okay. that's the thing. They look really <laughs> fucking disgusting. <laughs> but here, and like, like look, look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me just one sec over here. But it looks like, like sugar cake. Yeah, like sugar cake. Okay, let's try one, two. It tastes like donuts. Not bad. I mean, it's it's sweet. Like, like I'd do it. <laughs> I would not. But that's because you're asexual, too, though. Exactly. No, but I'm you know, maybe I'd take it to a date mm. if I feel kind. I'm super heterosexual. And I wouldn't be surprised if I'm bi, to be honest. So many people seem to think that I'm gay already. So. You don't really like guys, though. I know. I don't like taking it in the ass. It scares you me. You could be the dominant. But you can't always be the dominant. Of course you can. No. Yeah, of course you can. And I did, Now, we're, we're going to be honest with you. We have this here, too. Mm -hmm. It's good, though. But I haven't had Hoopa Booba for about 10 years. Okay, yeah. Good times. Wow, yeah. I stopped, or I didn't, I stopped because my mom stopped buying it to me. Oh, there we go. I fucked it up, wait. You suck. 
I used to, like, when I was young, when I was young. Oh, yeah, the good old no, days. Like, when I was six years old or something like that, I found this hubba bubba and it was like watermelon. I think it was in the US, actually, and it was so good. I really like the green apple one as well. I used to fuck up my teeth. I just ate like a whole roll in one day. <laughs> Ew. I used to get the sour apples and it's really fucking sour and it fucks you up really bad. I really like the sour apple one. But that, wa I think it was watermelon, but I'm not sure. No, it was like apple, watermelon and lemon. It was That's an odd combination. I know, but it was because I bought it in the USA because oh. I like the colour of the package. And it was really good. Mm. I think it was in like third grade, so it must have been eight. Like I've missed the bubba so much. But I read like an article of how shit it really is compared to all other gums. All gums are basically shit, but like this isn't even worse. It's literally like sugar paste. Exactly. <laughs> you are made of sugar, gum base, corn syrup, glycerol. Less than 2% of natural and artificial flavors. Great. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. And mm. the color is Red Forty Lake. To summarize this little haul, I I have to say the Twinkies were really good, but they're like a sugar cake. Like it, it's kind of weird because they taste like we have these like little muffins you can buy in a bag, and it's like essentially I think it's like lemon filled with cream, uh, and they kind of taste like that. Except a bit less lemony. It's so weird because, like, what, um, God damn, I thought I forgot like this um, name of the word. But um, you know when evolution occurs at different places, and basically two different uh, two different animals come to like evolve the same kind of ability or something. So it's basically. Is that a thing? Yeah, That's really I think cool. it's called convergent evolution. I'm not sure. Um, I do social I science. I don't. But basically, it's it's a really interesting thing because like it's it has to say, it says something about the environment in which the animals are. Mm -hmm. at. Uh, anywho, so it's basically the same thing here. We've had we've got like the uh, like the Twinkies, for instance. The thing that Tulva said. For some reason, we've got basically the same thing, but they're like really really fucking different at the same time. So we got convergent, co convergent in Swedish. I would say on evolution, but in food. <laughs> cool story. I know. Thank you. Um, anywho, I really enjoyed the Twinkies. The coconut ball, like, it would need to be a bit more firm for me to eat it a lot. But since it was my first time, I enjoyed it. I... Uh, the Reese's... Oh, my God. Jesus is coming. Can you hear that? Jesus is coming to save the world. No, he saw the food. <laughs> bless us all. <laughs> he wants a snowball. Sorry, Jesus. I think he came to the wrong country then, though. Yeah, he missed Israel. <laughs> <laughs> By a bit. Oh, should have gone to Antarctica if he wanted to choke. Snowballs. Snowballs. Uh. Uh. Did you just take your gum out? Because it got stuck in my braces. Oh, that's disgusting. Anywho, the Reese's, like, girl, I love them. I'm going to consume them. I'm probably going to make a milkshake, milkshake, milkshake out of them. Yeah. What? Ooh. You haven't shown me what you got. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Sorry, I just need to say this. Like, I'm going to Oxford this weekend, right? And they have this place called Moo Moo's. And it's essentially a milkshake shop where you can get milkshake in, like, every fucking flavour ever. And I've only tried the Sour Skittles one. I just remembered it because it's a Reese's milkshake and they have that. But, oh my god, I think I'm gonna show Aramint this time. I'm so excited. Okay, yeah. So, do you want, do you want to... I, I've already shown mine. You're done? Like, I, I, I have no idea what you've got. I'm kind of curious. Mm. Okay, so I really enjoy the snowball, actually. I think that's because I really like the coconut chocolate combination. Don't do that. I don't care that much for the marshmallow, but, you know, like, 8 out of 10, maybe? Right, we have to rate them. Fuck, okay, I'll do that after. Mm. And the the Twinkie, like I said, it tastes like those muffins, but without the um, lemony taste. And I, I'd say this is like a solid 8 out of 10 as well. I really like it. I just can't eat that much of it because it's really filling. 
I didn't try the beef jerky because it seems really that's, disgusting. That's a zero. So that's a zero, that's a zero, out, of zero out of ten. Definitely. Haba baba. Tried it before. It tastes sweet I and like gummy. <laughs> like a, a six, maybe. Okay, now I'll just quickly rate my thing or the same things. Snowball. And, uh, no, no, wait. Oh, and right. the sealed air. Oh right. A total ten out of ten. Like I this really enjoyed beautiful. popping them. I'm gonna have it as my baby. You could like put what's it paper mache around it and make it like solid, and then it could be there for forever. She wanted to mummify the sealed air. Didn't you do that when you were a kid? <laughs> like you would take a balloon. Mummify? And... No, I did not mummify sealed air. Did you? A balloon is sealed air. <laughs> I used to. Haven't you ever seen it when you like you 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 blow up a balloon and then you put paper mache around it? You let it like. Yeah, wait. I actually have. I have like. A yeah, exactly. Snake thingy that I made. Uh. It's really ugly. You can see it if you come here. <laughs> I used to keep money in it. Not me. Anywho, I'll just quickly hear like the beef jerky, like a nine out of ten. It was really good. I enjoy me. I like. I I try to be a vegetarian whenever I can, but like. I enjoy meat, so I do too, but not that shit. Like a uh, Twinkie, I give it like an eight point one, and the Snowball a seven point nine. I feel that because like I enjoyed them both very much, but like the Twinkie was a bit better, and I don't want to give them the like the Twinkie doesn't deserve a nine, but it doesn't deserve it like a a what's it called an eight, so it's like an eight point one. Uh, what more? Uh, the gum. The gum. Like Hubba Bubba, I've always liked Hubba Bubba, so like, like an seven, a 7, because it's Hubba Bubba, yeah. obviously. I enjoy the, like, cutting of the gum part. Well, I really enjoy the packaging. Like, yeah. this, the packaging is a solid 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. okay. Like, I do the packaging. You do like everyone. You're such a fuckboy. It's not true. Fucking hell. I've said no so many times lately. Screw you. <laughs> right. Okay, so, uh, for my own stuff, these are definitely a solid, like, 9.5 out of 10. Those are amazing. I already have But, like, it's, it's a tr crunchy granola bar with oats and honey. I actually, I have one open in my bag. Do you want to try it? Hit it's me. It's really good. Okay. We, we can do that later. Yeah, so I don't exactly. need to, uh... Um, but, maybe, go up and no, get No, I want to see the entire thing, like, oh, everything sorry. first. Okay, yeah. But, th I really like those. If you want to, like, I wouldn't mind if you bring me some of the, like, I think they're called apple crisp ones. Oh, if you want to. <laughs> Not only if you want to, you can bring me some. like Because those are really good as well. Um, and the gummy lifesavers, I mean... L let me see, let me see. Like, what are these? Those are gummy lifesavers. I'm sorry, I need to open this. No, wait. Is, is it like, it's bean gummy, right? No. Far from Okay, if you want to try it, you can try that one because I like these more because they have the strawberry one. <laughs> Is there a melon in there? No, it's... Cherry what? Yeah. Raspberry lemonade, cherry watermelon, and pineapple yeah. punch. You can try one of each. But first, you... No. Go and get the, the crunch thing. It's in my bag. And the... Which one? This one? Yeah. Uh, the, the small... Compartment? Yeah. In, like, the side. Holy fuck. What? I'll just bring you the bag. We don't have that many good cereal bars here. We no, we don't. Really, we're really lacking like, on the granola The Nature bars Valley thing. ones are the best. Okay, let me see here. It kind of tastes like digestive. Mm. It's really good. It's like, we have digestive crackers, like a digestive crackers. A bit sweeter. Mm. And then it's got like this... Um, Consistence, context, right? Consistence. Yeah, I like it. Mm. It's crunchier. It, it, uh, it reminds me of. Um, fuck, misty? No. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's kind of made of it. But I've really. Like, if you can find the apple crisp ones or the cinnamon crunch ones, please just buy me, like, a pack package. Because this is like, so good. Like five or ten? No, but like a package of six. You buy them in packages of six. Wow, America. <laughs> because yeah. I really like those are basically what I bring for lunch. Let me just see the packaging first before you open anything. Okay. 
so we were doing gummy gummies collision, two flavors in one, which is kind of interesting. And we got oh, we got a cartoon. My dad was cherry, my mom was watermelon. Ha, huh, interesting couple. You don't know you don't know the half of it. Wow, <laughs> because a I'm plus there. comic. It's so confusing that they have OZ and not like they have grams and OZ, but like we're so you, we don't even know the like the OZ system. Shouldn't you put OSET? Oh, I say Z. Okay, right. Okay, hit me. <laughs> not not literally. Not literally. <laughs> I love how you thought I was actually going to. Because do they it. have a basic like. Okay, so this is the raspberry lemonade. Okay. I've already tried these before. I love them all. I like this one. Mm. It's good. Oh. Okay. This is like literally my favorite candy. It's so good. Okay, do you want to try the the cherry watermelon or the pineapple? Give punch it a first? watermelon. I want that bad. I love watermelon. Okay. I'll just. Mm. Yes, mm. the watermelon is definitely fair. Like, uh, watermelon is so good. What and is this? This is pineapple punch. What's punch? Like punch isn't like punch? fruit punch. Yeah, like the one that. Yeah, see. kind of. It's like ball. No, no, no. It's like it's called fruit punch. I don't know if it actually is fruit punch, but I guess so. Like I know what fruit punch is, and like. Have like, you tried fruit punch though? Because that is fucking disgusting. Yeah, I have uh, at parties. Uh, they make no, 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 it's not the same thing. It's like a thing in America. They call it fruit punch and it's like a soft drink, I guess. It's like, I don't, usually it doesn't have bubbles, right? I haven't I think drunk I've tried, it in what's, so it, what's long? it called that? Like uh, that iced tea that they have in America? It's not iced tea. No, 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 I know, but what's, what's that one called? The, Snapple. No, the iced tea one, like the Arizona uh, Arizona iced tea fruit punch. Yes. Like I think I've tried that one. If there, if there's such a thing, I uh, think that might be like the same thing. I've only tried it once, and it was absolutely horrendous. So I never tried it like, again. Like I, I love it. I really do. You disgust me. I, I eat and drink. It's most so things. disgusting. Like I don't eat I avocado. Do I, I drink like fucking everything because I'm always dehydrated. But fruit punch. It's a big no-no from me. That's like a minus 10 out of 10. I could not be a food food <sighs> critic because I enjoy food in general too much. Um, and what's it called? Fuck. I forgot what I wanted to say. Well, uh, anywho. Ooh, I want to try Gatorade really bad. Can we open your Sour Patch Kids as well? But you already tried them. Yeah, but who cares? You opened one of mine. <laughs> Gatorade. You offered. I think I tried Gatorade once. I really want to try Gatorade. Can I have, yeah, I want a blue one or a red one. I'm not gonna eat them because right mm -hmm. now I'm I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do experiments on them. Like like I'm I'm gonna if I eat one I'll bust my fucking teeth because I won't stop until the package is gone. I just want a red one. Yeah, go, go go for it. Ooh. I think I'm gonna try to make some kind of drink out of them. Yeah. Something. I wonder, do they have Sour Patch Kids in the UK? Because if they do, I'm totally gonna buy some. I don't know. Oh, but the red I'm, ones are so good. I'm gonna, like, these things, you can make good shit out of. Like, especially Reese's, you can make the fucking best milkshakes out of Reese's. I've I've had Reese's ice cream. You don't like peanuts, that's why. Exactly. I've had Reese's Pe ice cream in Israel at, like, this ice cream place. It was the fucking best ice cream I've ever had. Oh. Okay, but the best, the best milkshake I've ever tried, to be honest, is one now when we were in Oregon during the spring break. Uh, oh right, you told me. I remember. Yeah, we went to this place called like Burger. What was I it take on? this right? Yeah, I don't want it. Um, like best burgers. I don't know, burger something, <laughs> and they had this. Mint Oreo milkshake. I've had and that one of those in Denmark. They're so fucking good. Yeah, but like, no, because that was I've tried one before, but this was amazing. It was Burgerville. That's it. It was so good. I like cried. <laughs> I remember. Literally, yeah. No, literally, I I almost cried because it was so fucking good. My reaction to that milkshake was literally like your reaction to Bob. Oh. 
I, I would say that would be equivalent to my reaction to have you had like a mixed shake? Mm. Mm, like the mm, chocolate those one. Are really good. Like we have You can have one when you get hit. Oh my god, you have to go like we have this burger place uh, chain. They're like this best burgers in Sweden. It's like, called Max. Yeah. And it, think of it as like McDonald's but like really really top like top notch like oh, like not a restaurant but like a step close below restaurant. I mean you probably know like uh in and out, right? Mm. It's sort of like I guess a fancy in and out. Yeah, like, like a, a as would, fancy as a fast food restaurant gets. Yeah, like I would say Shake Shack, but the thing is, Shake Shack don't really have that many uh, stores. So, but like, it's it's essentially like as good as Shake Shack or or In and Out, except like the burgers are a bit bigger. Mm. Or maybe not because it's American. No, they actually are. I'll really? try, yeah, I'll try to order wow. them. We're fucked. Uh, Shake anywho, Shack are the best ones. They, they have like the, this thing called a lux shake. A lux means luxury in Swedish. So it's like a luxury shake. And it's like... It's amazing. It's really fucking good. They put good. like literal... Like, I don't know, like literal chocolate in it. No, they do. It's, they it's like, amazing. They like put the sauce, of course, the chocolate sauce, the milk, the ice cream, and then like bits of chocolate and then make mm. like... Oh, and it turns so fucking good, and they like, have like ten different, like no, not ten. Like blueberry, and I think they, they constantly I think they swap. Have a raspberry licorice, right now. Yeah, really that, that's the new one. That. Last year they had apple pie. I tried apple pie; it was okay, but, but the best one is good. chocolate. The best one. There's strawberry as well. I've tried I've never that. Tried strawberry. strawberry is pretty good, but I prefer chocolate. As I've well. tried apple pie and chocolate. Those are. I tried pear. Amazing. Pear is really nice. Really? Actually. Yeah. Doesn't seem that nice when you just look at it, like admit it. No, no, no. It's like uh, peers, but it's really good. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna take you places. Indeed. Question: Do you have like? Because in Sweden we have this thing called grill chips, and it's like essentially grilled bar- chips. barbecue chips. Yeah. But it's not barbecue chips because barbecue chips are fucking awful. I hate barbecue. Oh chips. yeah, when you say barbecue, you refer to like the barbecue sauce, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I love those. Those are fucking awful. But anyway, we have like an alternative and then like I think it's like onion. It's it's like I don't it's really hard to describe the the It says taste. onion, but it doesn't really taste onion. It just tastes amazing. And those are my favorite crisps and I'm pretty sure you don't have them in the US because I've never found any. So when you get here, we're definitely gonna try that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because I want some. <laughs> yeah, I I'm not like the thing with chips is that I usually do things all the time like on the computer and etc. And when I eat chips and do things on the computer, everything gets really really greasy. So I don't mm. I tend to not eat that much chips because of that. I kind of like what I usually do is because I'm like oh shit I should study. I also really want to eat crisps. I'm going to say crisps now because I don't care. Um, but then I'm like, oh, I'll just put on a documentary and then I don't have to be ashamed. <laughs> it actually works pretty well. I do. I, I like. I have something similar. I, I tend to take a fork and eat the chips with the fork. I'm really good at it. Who the fuck eat crisps with a fork? It's it's really efficient. I'm really good at it. And you don't get... How can it be efficient? Why they break? No, you don't. Like, you... <laughs> I have this technique where you're like... You know the fork? It has like this... The, like the small... Don't tell me thing. you like put the crisps... How you, do you do you that? Sli- like, I have this hand motion. You slide it in in the middle. And then you have it. Like, I'm really good at it. I was a born natural at it. Not that even is kidding. amazing. Okay. I'm not going to bully you for that, because that actually is amazing. I can never do that. It's really good, and it's like really rewarding, because you eat one at a time, and you're like, wow, you're really enjoying each crisp. <laughs> oh. It's really sad, because that bag is going to be gone. Like, no, Tuva. Yeah. No. That's why I didn't want to open it. Like I'm an addict. The thing <laughs> is, Tuva stores candy literally everywhere, like in her yeah, purse, not in her, no, let, let me speak, like, in her purse, by her bed, in her locker, and, like, anywhere else, potentially, where she's, like, almost every day. And... I, I have this, like, at my dad's, in my wardrobe, there are, like, drawers, and I have a drawer full of candy. Like, I can't have that, because I finish shit so fucking fast, like, and I just I... eat it. I don't really do that because I can't really eat that much at once. But this, this is the exception, and that is why it's so fucking over that they don't have them here. 
because I could eat one of these bags a day and not like any other candy. I could live without chocolate for these. Wow. Yeah. I'm not like that. I'm not it's all about so that life, Taylor. It's so good. P.S. I got you Let me see. the, the post-quist. Oh, yes. This is probably my favorite Swedish kind of pop or whatever we call it. Soda. Fun fact, we've been in the U.S. for like, uh, I think, four times during the Easter. And Dad always brings like a big bottle of this. So we have pictures of me and Dad like, like by, uh, fuck, what's it called? Highway 1 in California. Your language. Just going, hey. <laughs> I love like there's no difference between post post and you must right it's just a no, it's just same a, thing. like we have the one thing this is the post post right and we have something that's called Yulmust. Yulmust Yul means Christmas in um, Swedish uh, and we have this thing called Yulmust as well and they're only available at stores during the seasons the holiday seasons and like a bit after and then yeah. they're really cheap so I bought this like package of twelve of these for like two dollars. Mm. Totally really good price. It. Like I remember, we went there. Like she so bought. I'm saving one for you. Like how much drinks did you buy that day? I bought like two red, like like those, the monster, my fave, and then I bought um, a big bottle of Sprite, mint, and then the fifteen package of these. Yeah, and then we went and bought alcohol. <laughs> and I bought alcohol for like three hundred krona. Yeah. That's kind of insane. Yay me. A anywho, back to my point about the Postmust. So, they rename it all the time, like each time. But it's the same fucking thing. And then, then we have these people that are like, no, it's not the same. You can feel the difference. And I'm like, no, there's no difference. I'm sorry. There literally is no difference. I think the company has even gone out and said there's no difference. But people are still arguing about it. It was stupid though. Yeah, I know. doesn't really I mean, matter. People have said that the earth isn't flat and there's still people believing that. So... <sighs> Like we gotta talk about flat earth first. Like I have a I have a long history with flat earth first. Like I was one one day out on YouTube, just minding my business per usual. Can then, I have the sealed air? Yes, you may Thank have you. the sealed air. I was minding my business per usual, and then I saw this like the earth is fl flat, and I clicked on it, and like I went into this like whole subgenre of conspiracies on YouTube, and it was everything from like a thousand documentaries about how the earth is flat. No, as well. Can have that one. Happy birthday. Thank you. Anywho, and then I found, then I, uh, apparently, Israel is going to try to, like, dominate the entire Middle East, and Putin, and there's, like, a documentary about how great Putin is. Oh, my God. And we, then... Um, I'll tell you later. And, like, the, like, YouTube is such an amazing place. You find so many things that you didn't know about. It's like... Yeah, I never knew that it was flat. Thanks. NASA, come Thank on. Thank you for telling me, YouTube. NASA's really good at so making nice CGI. So nice it's like really stupid. You're like, oh, yeah. If you look at this at, at this photo, you can clearly see that if you look in the right corner, just around there, you can see that it's CGI. It must mean that it's all fake. It's like, I'm sorry, but I don't think you understand. Like, that one picture of the Earth consists of like a thousand pictures put together. It doesn't work that way, you idiot. Anywho, uh, we're done, right? Yeah, I think so. We're all done. I'm just gonna quickly check if somebody's been trying to reach me. Nope, thankfully. Um, thank you so much for tuning into our haul and come back next week for a Japan haul. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment. And comment down below. Com like when you subscribe, comment done and I'll do sub for sub. Yeah. Uh, and, and like for like. And also click his head to get to his channel. Click here. Click, click on the zit. On the zit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. um, click, click to his nose to go to our Twitter page. The boobs for Facebook, <laughs> and um, that doesn't make sense. You should have like no, shut up. <laughs> and uh, the leg Facebook, the leg. I was talking about my leg now too. It's really, really, really important. Um, and if you want to like, if you want to see our Snapchat stories, click on my leg because I have a video for that. Um, oh. if, add us on Snapchat. Two van near halls. Um, vlogs, challenges, and. and yeah. Uh, Good stuff. <laughs> uh, blogs. Blogs and blogs. And yeah. Love you. Take care. And thank you so much for sending all this. 
I'm going to have a great time getting fat. It's going to be a, a really enjoyable and interactive experience. Nice. Anywho, love you, Claire. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. See you when I see you. And bye-bye. <laughs>